yeah. Like, uh, uh, it's 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 a different way of of uh, working, collaborating, and I see it's not about leadership, but like this, literally someone seeing how things are coming together, maybe, or, or how things can come together, or just you know feeling feeling it, the need to put it together, <laughs> and that's when you, hi hi streamer D. That's when. Hey, um... I'm thinking the same way I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, like. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. uh, I had some good developments in the development side of things, like making use of really blockchain right now. Uh, in the couple of weeks, really, uh, and like full stacked up, I feel really confident really like since and all these projects for me I would say like getting that uh, some common libraries available you know like with its UI component say you can just grab that and then you know change it and your system can work maybe I can show you if you want yeah, yeah, like, like the, you you mean like you you're uh, you're seeing the infrastructure uh, and libraries that we can use to make the the yeah. NFTs or or completely something else. Yeah, we can. Sounds perfect. So yay, <laughs> number one, because, perfect. Because <laughs> what we need perfect. is there like, hey, uh, someone connects with the wallet and then does some complex actions you know actually these are a bit complex because we are checking multiple stuff there is also a version i tried but getting some errors like with this card connection you know if you want to make use of roles and roles can come from this card side but doesn't matter at the end we welcome people and if they are not connected they connect you can think of like basic infrastructure and it can go multiple wallets and and then with that wallet you got you start some you know some scenario it could be holding of one nft it could be different you know in the next page but also i want to show you on the site it's like I was trying that app, Crypto Flowers 3D scene. It's just a playing around. We can now put a 3D item, and when it's clicked, it can go to another wow. uh, page or object. I mean, I can it, they can it. be all, all like in the same place too. Like, for example, in this one, when we interact here, I'm not changing left part. All is happening on the right side. It's also problematic for me at some point. Uh, but, for example, that kind of thing is also possible, like, of course. Then you go, like, say, mint some, you know, well, NFT. Yeah, we just load it. Yeah, sometimes testnet is, you know, being problematic, but you can see here when this is done we get a notification here it can be like success of something maybe they get some message here and then this button is also changed like now it's again mint but i change it to mint another so it's also a level of complexity we are also keeping track of hey did they just minted something you know, we can say something about it. Like we know that state. So like you can do with that state, you can make something like this, or you make mm -hmm. some changes here. That notification badge is actually uh, was happening because like whenever this it's success when yeah. it does something, then it is cool. yeah. But just one question, just for me to to uh, understand a bit better. Like, 
the three D object, yeah, that you're showing, that could be. It is another app. Yeah. Okay. And and just the question, like uh, I'm just asking, do you see the mm. these these NFTs, these self discovery NFTs, these mandalas being th those shapes in 3D, or, or is this now something else that you have in mind? Well, I'm I'm open for stuff, you know, like. But I got your uh, question a little bit, like, hey, how can you maybe a uh, Make like library plus some, you know, minting experience like reward parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see that we could definitely do something with it. I just want to uh, understand or get all the info that you have in your mind, <laughs> uh, and if I understand it right. And also Satori, yeah. Please go ahead. Experience like after launch part. This could be also some uh, library items here or reading and then interacting with wallets. Some, you know those items not necessarily but uh so i gotta know like which parts inter gonna interact with you know mm. like signature gonna make mm. nfts or very roughly then i can put things out like if you want some page with some you know 3d items in them, we can put there and maybe like you know like you see like this like change of I don't know. It's not change. It's right now changing by click, but it could be something else. We can. Gotcha, so these gotcha. are really basic stuff and mm -hmm. can be deployed like different apps and yeah. communicate each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the last time me and Shimmer D were um, talking, we were talking about that and um you know putting um the the um, dynamic energy budget symbol within um the the vortex or the the funnel and then like creating these types of like rabbit holes and um yeah yeah putting them in there um and and um showing the cycles and the seasons that we've been talking about and um, even putting like the compass in there yeah yeah uh, and the seasons cycles if if it would um, let's if it would uh, apply this on the domain of the token entry and concealment library from my experience of a curator, but also especially I think from a learner, it could be you come in and the first season uh, is to to take a stroll through, right? And then um, those actions that uh, Stream of D shows could be when you make connections and when you have those insights, right? That's where, where you were getting at. When you have those insights, you, you make those connections and you mint basically an inside NFT. Not only does that um, encode the information that gave you the insight, uh, but also it's, it's like a landmark for other people to, to connect to maybe. Um, so it could be people, uh, yeah, literally placing a uh, position like a GPS of pins. <laughs> Right, uh, that they, um, yeah, more or less. And then for a curator, for example, if, if uh, we have this functionality while I am adding a curation, right, and I can, I could then say, okay, add curation and then see the mandala that it creates my curation, and then I can say mint, right? Is, is that the logic kind of streamer D? And, and Satori? Uh, maybe Satori can, you know, exp uh, know more. Yeah, it's um what I refer to as the mandala spores and like they create 
this kind of like constellation of like where your interest and your curiosity is and i think it's interesting to see how um it could, could match up and um, um collaborate and um build over time and then you see these relationships between like your interests and the, the different um uh, contact points within that and um yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. And, and and what happens and like that happens actually all the time and i think that's why people almost get addicted to these rabbit holes of crypto <laughs> that that you that you get these connections all of a sudden because someone shared with you coming from an entirely different background and shared with you a resource that you hear a concept or even if it's coming from a transdisciplinary piece like cybernetics it's even more mind-blowing and it maps to uh, but you have never heard it. <laughs> you have never heard about it, but it makes so much sense. And all of a sudden you can connect it to your background. And it's like this portal through the flower. That's how I say like it connects that. Imagine that curation comes from, or multiple curations come from different backgrounds. And I can connect it to either what I created or just by re reading on and learning about this, I have an aha moment and add an annotation like, Oh my God, <laughs> you know, this, uh, this, uh, I, I come from computer science and, uh, you know, we didn't have this concept, but it's actually exactly uh, what we've been trying to, to make sense of uh, and so on. And by just adding that personal annotation, what these creations made with my mind, uh, again, that would be something worth minting. And plus, again, that would be something worth discovering as well like someone actually as a learner making connecting various curations or connecting a curation to an aha moment uh, that that triggered and that can of course trigger other <laughs> other learners and vice versa i think for the curators it's also quite interesting to see that people have these aha moments <laughs> when they work or when they when they read through your curations and so on and it becomes less of a hey let's create a discussion thread kind of it's more as you say more of these miscellaneous <laughs> connections that, that people or, or that people weave right it's quite interesting i, I love it yeah. I, I mean i hope um I'm understanding it right. <laughs> uh, yeah.